Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, dear brothers and sisters in faith. Welcome to the program, Verses Through Voices. I'm your host, Muhammad. Today, we'll be listening to a recitation by Shaykh Muhammad Ahmad Shabib. <laughs> Muhammad Ahmad Shabib was born in 1934 in one of the eastern governorates of Egypt. It's interesting that the year that he was born in was the same year that the recitations of Sheikh Muhammad Rif'at, the great reciter, was being broadcast on the Egyptian radio. He memorized the Quran at a very early age, just like all other famous Quran reciters from Egypt. He also went to a traditional school to learn Tajweed and the Qira'at. In the year 1957, he recited the Quran in a gathering in a morning ceremony where Sheikh Abdul Fattah Sha'sha'i was also in that gathering. In the year 1961, unfortunately, he contracted laryngitis and he couldn't recite the Qur'an. He was banned from reciting the Qur'an. But a few years later, fortunately, uh, due to the grace of Allah, he was cured and was able to recite the Qur'an once again. Shaykh Muhammad Ahmad Shabib became very popular and famous. And he recited the Qur'an in different countries. And he also visited the Islamic Republic of Iran. This great reciter passed away in the year 2012 at the age of 78. May Allah bless him and reward him.
The verse reads, وَأَوْحَيْنَا إِلَىٰ أُمِّ مُوسَىٰ أَنْ أَرْضِعِيهِ We revealed to the mother of Moses to nurse him. So how is it that Allah is revealing to a woman, to the mother of a prophet? Is it possible? Yes, it's possible for wahi or Actually, it's not prophetic wahi. It's a kind of inspiration which uh, even non-prophets could experience. But this was such a, you know, significant and sensitive issue that Allah reveals to the mother of Moses to nurse him and to not fear وَلَا تَحْزَنِي وَأَوْحَيْنَا إِلَىٰ أُمِّ مُوسَىٰ أَنْ أَرْضِعِيهِ فَإِذَا خِفْتِ عَلَيْهِ فَأَلْقِيهِ فِي الْيَمْ If you fear that something is going to happen to your son, cast him into the sea. Cast him into the sea. وَلَا تَخَافِي وَلَا تَحْزَنِي And don't fear or grieve. إِنَّا رَادُّهُ إِلَيْكِ We will re restore him to you. We will return him to you. وَجَاعِلُوهُ مِنَ الْمُرْسَلِينَ And we will make him one of the apostles. The story of the birth of Prophet Moses is by itself a miracle. At the time of Pharaoh, Ramses II, his uh, fortune tellers, the persons who were astronomers and who would predict the future, they had told him that a man from the children of Israel will overthrow you, will topple your government. And he really feared this. And that is why he slaughtered every male child who was from the children of Israel. But how was it that Prophet Moses was born. Prophet Moses was born without his mother having the signs of pregnancy. Because if she did, they would probably kill her. Okay? So, he, Prophet Moses was born in secret. And no one knew this. And when they were about to come and search uh, for Prophet Moses, Allah commanded his mother to throw, to cast Prophet Moses into the sea by placing him in the casket and throwing him into the sea. This is very similar to the birth of our last Imam, Imam Mahdi. He was also born in such conditions. People were actually, the caliph of the time of uh, Imam al-Askari, the 11th Imam, they were waiting for a child to be born from him so that they could kill him, okay? But they weren't able to do this. <laughs> Shaykh Muhammad Ahmad Shabi begins with Maqam Rust in a high register, okay? It's in the jawab of his voice. And uh, Maqam Rust is a very beautiful Maqam it's one of the main maqamat in Arabic music, which all reciters, without an exception, have used this maqam in their recitation. And that is why it's called the father of maqams. The way that Shaykh Muhammad Ahmed Shabib is reciting this verse, in terms of the tone and intonation of his voice, is such as if he is telling a story. وَأَوْحَيْنَا إِلَىٰ أُمِّ مُوسَىٰ أَنْ أَرْضِعِيهِ For example, we revealed to Moses' mother to nurse him. And if you fear, or فَإِذَا خِفْتَ عَلَىٰ If you fear for him, cast him into the sea. It's like he's telling a story with the tone 
with a storytelling tone. When Sheikh Muhammad Ahmed Shabi reaches the part where it says, Inna raduhu, on the mad lazim of raduhu, he recites in the highest note of maqam rust, on the eighth note of maqam rust. This is a maqam known as rust kardan. It's the eighth note of Maqam Rust. It resembles Jawabul Jawab of Maqam Rust. But this is not actually Jawabul Jawab of the voice of Sheikh Muhammad Ahmed Shabib. It sounds like it because if it were to be Jawabul Jawab, he should be able to read the Qarar, which he's not able to because it's not that high of a register for him to be able to read the Qarar, but it sounds like Jawabul Jawab because it's a somewhat high register. Of course, it's not high enough to be Jawabul Jawab. And that's why I said it's a um, complete Maqam Rust. It's called Rust Kardan. Okay, now dear brothers and sisters, let's go ahead and listen to Suratul Qasas, verse 7, recited by Shaykh Muhammad Ahmed Shabi.